Hey, have you ever wanted to name any card someone is just thinking about in their mind? Well, in today's episode, I have with me a very special guest that will be my volunteer. You will get to see firsthand the reaction someone will get when you can just merely read their mind and name their card with a little bit of a twist. You know I gotta add something special for you guys. Hey, this is gonna be fun. You're gonna have a great time doing this trick. All of that's coming up right after this. Hey, welcome back to all my Presto Paul TV peeps. I hope you're having a magical day. If this is the first time you're checking out my channel, I hope you would think about subscribing and joining in with all the other magicians here that are learning how to do magic and having a ton of fun doing it. As a matter of fact, our motto is, come on peeps, say it with me. You gotta have fun, you'll live longer. So do you wanna have some fun, do you? All right, let's get right into the magic. Here we go. All right, I'm joined by my good friend Robin today. She's gonna to help us with a trick. And uh, would you do me a favor? Would you hold on to the cards for me? And I want you just to think of one of the cards inside the deck. 52 choices is a big responsibility. Let me know when you have it in your mind. Okay. You do? I okay, do. great. Now I'm going to name your card. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Thank you. All right, I'm gonna name your card. Let me concentrate. I'm not overacting, am I? Let me concentrate. Ah, the name of your card is Pat. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, it's not Pat? No. Oh, well, let me show you something here. What, what was the card you were thinking of? The nine of spades. The nine of spades. Well, in a deck, every deck has a nine of spades. Let me find it in here. There should be a nine of spades somewhere in here. <laughs> so, yeah, you thought, oh, there it is, way down there. Yeah, you see, um, because the nine of spades, actually, I named all the cards. You see, this one's Mel. This one's Chad, this one's Ron, this one's Bill, there's Colin, there's Norm, there's Sam, there's Kyle, there's Amber. I got all these names in here. I named all 52 cards. Isn't that crazy? There's Tony, there's Rick, there's Andrew, there's Robin, there's Josh, there's Liz, there's Aaron. There's all kinds of names in here. And I did name your card uh, one name. Let me see if I can find it in here. It should be in here somewhere. Let's see, where is the Pat card? Oh, there's Pat. I named your card Pat. Now, what was the card you were thinking of? The Nine of Spades. Oh, I think we got it. No way. The Nine of Spades, <laughs> the Pat that? card. Do that? <laughs> Very well, thank you. <laughs> and now for the secret of name your card. As you can see by the reaction of Robin, this is a fun trick to do. And believe it or not, it is very easy to do as well. And here's what you need to do, name your card. You need cards with names on it. Who knew? Now, some of these names you might recognize. Sean, Heather, Tony, Mel, a little shout out. Robin, Norm, Tyler, Esther, Andrew, Alex, Luke, Sheila, David. Just name some of your friends on the cards. Get yourself a Sharpie, write the names on there, and you're good to go. I know what you're thinking. Do I have to destroy an entire deck? Well, yeah, but it's worth it. You saw the reaction that Robin gave, and this is well worth it. I have a ton of cards laying around my house, uh, too many, <laughs> according to my wife, and just get an old deck and mark it up. Just make sure it's a full deck because they can name any card. Genuinely, they can name any card in the deck. So here's how you set up name your card. So now that you got all your friends' names written on the backs of all your cards, you're ready to go. You need to prepare one card with some double stick tape. I use the three of hearts in the performance. You can use any card. As a matter of fact, it might be better if you used a court card because it's gonna hide the double stick tape. So I'll show you what it's like with that court card in there. You take a piece of double stick tape and you cut it just not too big, just a little bit to cover the middle part of the card. That's all I have on there. I'm not sure if you could pick that up on the camera or not and I'm gonna place it right on the black spot in the middle of this jack of diamonds for an example, and it kind of blends in with that. Now, when you first put this on here, it's gonna be real sticky, so you don't want it to be too sticky, so you just kind of tap it with your finger uh, a few times to get the big stickiness off of there, and you are set to go. You're going to place that on the face of your deck, just like this, and you have all your other cards lined up behind it. They start with the deck inside of the card case. Now, to prevent this from sticking, go ahead and bend just a little bit in the middle 
of the card case like that, make like a little concave area in there, and that way your card will not stick inside the card case. I will show it to you just like this. You just put it in, and when you store this, just store it with the back up, don't have pressure on there, and you're good to go. You come out, and you're gonna open it, and you can even bend it just a little bit with your fingers, and it'll pull right out of there, so don't worry about that. So now that you're getting ready to do the performance after they've held the cards in their hands and they thought of a card, you go back to that performance and just follow my words that I used. You can make up your own story. That's what's cool about this. You can make it your own type of a trick. So this is gonna be here. Now this might shine in a light under lighting conditions like this especially, but the way to get past that is just when you're getting ready to thumb over the cards to find the card that they named of, let's call it, uh, it doesn't matter, just for argument's sake, the eight of diamonds. So say they said oh, their card was the eight of diamonds. You place your thumb right there and that covers the tape. They're not gonna be staring at the at the cards anyway, so don't you don't have to worry about it. it. It just happens so fast. They're just concerned about where their card is in the deck. So the eight of diamonds, here's the hard move. You put the card on top, that's it. That's all you have to do. This card trick is so easy. And then you can show it to them. Now to get that, make sure that tape sticks, you say, is that the card you were thinking of, the eight of diamonds? I'm putting a little pressure between my thumb and index finger, just making sure that sticks. Now you have the fun part of going through the names and you say, hey, I named all the cards. This is Sean, this is Heather, this is Tony, this is Mel, this is Robin, Norm, Tyler. And then you could push off a block. You don't have to name every single card or you're gonna be there forever. You could push off a block and shove them to the bottom and you can call out a few more. There's Kyle, there's Amber, there's Carol, there's Judy, there's Brian, there's Matt, there's Adam, there's Tom. And you just keep going until you find uh, I think it was Roy was on the back of the other card. Let's double check here. It was Roy, I believe. So we're gonna keep going through until you find the card. It wasn't Pat because we took the thing. Oh, there's Roy, there it is, there's Roy. So now you hold up the card and say, see, I named your card Roy, and you ask them what their card was, and they're gonna say the eight of diamonds. You can pause, look puzzled for a second if you want, act it up any way you want, and then you show them their card. This will not come apart. This tape is glued on there and I'll show you so you can see. See, it's glued on there so good it won't even come up. It's actually just glued together there with that scotch tape, that double stick tape that you put on. So you can handle this very freely and do this trick. Have a blast with this one. You saw the fun reaction you get from this. Go and try it on somebody and let me know down in the comments how it went. And now it's time for the question of the day. So the question of the day is, if you have been following me for a while, and if you have, thank you, I appreciate you, you might notice some things in the background here. I have all kinds of magic props and different memorabilia back there. So I've been moving things around just to see if you're paying attention because I like to leave little Easter eggs in here. Some people have commented on that personally to me. So here's the challenge for today. If you can find the three things that have moved in this episode up until this point of the video, and leave a comment of all three things down below for me, I'm going to email you a very special surprise. So happy hunting. Hey, I hope you had a blast learning this fun trick today. Do me a favor, if you're getting value out of my videos, help me out and click that like button down there. Subscribe if you have not. Have you subscribed? If not, subscribe if you have not, and turn on those notifications. You'll know the second another video comes out. Until next week, I'm your host, Presto Paul, and remember, you gotta have fun. You'll live longer. Do me a favor. Would you? Would you? Would you? Could you? Could you? Could you do me a favor? Yeah, I need subscribers. That would be awesome. Tell your friends. <laughs> Thanks. Ah.